Welcome to part 6 of repairing and rebuilding a very large horizontal model steam engine. In this one I'm covering removing the old paint and more filling of the base casting. Here you see me placing the cylinder in a polythene container. Make sure you use polythene. If you use ABS type plastic, polystyrene and such like, you'll find that when you add the thinners, the whole thing dissolves and the cylinder drops on the floor, which is not a good idea. Anyway, this is definitely a polythene one because I use it a lot. As you can see by the tin, I'm using premium quality thinners. You don't need to use the premium stuff, you can use the rubbishy recycled stuff. This just smells a bit better. I don't like the smell of the recycled stuff. And once the container's filled with thinners, don't dive in and start trying to scrub the paint off, it doesn't work like that. You have to let some time elapse for the thinners to soften the paint. You could use a proprietary paint remover, but I really find that stuff very nasty. I much prefer thinners. I do it outside so the smell's not a problem. And here you can see me spreading the thinners around the cylinder. Don't worry about the wood part. This wood was very badly oil soaked, so using the thinners is just going to leach most of the oil away from the wood. If you want to do it the hard way, you can scrape like I'm doing here with the edge of a metal ruler. There's no point doing this, just leave the cylinder in the thinners, do something else and when you come back to it, miraculously the paint, or nearly all of the paint, will have fallen off the item. Here I'm using an old toothbrush to spread the cellulose thinners on the painted areas. And then I'll leave it for a while. While I'm at it I keep spreading some on the wood. This wood's getting nice and dry now, originally it was completely oil soaked. Now I'll turn the cylinder over and see how the cellulose thinners is working. Yes, it started. A good scrub with the paintbrush is a good idea, really, just to break the surface of the paint and let the thinners through to the stubborn stuff, which is the etch primer that coats the casting. Really, I'm only doing this for the purpose of the video. As I said earlier, just leave it in there, the paint will fall off. And in the meantime, I thought I would remove the paint from the two stanchions that support the main bearings. No need to put these in the thinners. I want to do two things here. One is remove the paint and reprofile the parts. They're quite well machined, but the shape's a little bit off, so whilst I'm removing the paint, I'm going to reprofile the part so it looks like this. It's worth mentioning at this stage that when you're painting metal parts that have no paint on them, you need to use a suitable etch primer first. This will bite into the metal and give a good key for the paint. This is the motion bracket which supports the crosshead. It's not painted, it's just greasy. So I put it in the cellulose thinners just to degrease it ready for painting. In the short time while I've been reprofiling the stanchions that support the main bearings, the cellulose thinners has done its stuff and most of the paint's fallen off the cylinder. It just needs a bit of help now with the toothbrush to get in his stubborn bits. Back now to the boring bit of sanding down the base casting. This base casting was very rough indeed. The paint was bad too. But I daren't remove the paint fully because I would think I would have to then skin the entire casting. Some of the paint's pretty good and some of it's very bad. But now I've got rid of the bad paint and filled the depressions. And it's just the process of eliminating all the depressions. I don't want to go too mad though, and I'm certainly no expert on painting. And I don't want to finish like a car body. What I'm looking to do is to get a good smooth finish and I'll be painting it with a paintbrush. Then it will look like something from the time period of the Industrial Revolution. In the next video I will show the finished product and you'll get the idea. But for now, it's spray it with primer so you can see where the depressions are and fill them again. Don't use too much filler though, if you put it on too thick it takes too long to rub it down. I'm also now working with cellulose putty or cellulose stopper, which is finer than car body filler and eventually you will get rid of all the depressions and get a very smooth casting ready to take the main coat. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful.